All right, so before we start the haircut tutorial, I want to talk to you guys about two things. One is don't forget about the Orlando premiere. June 3rd the 5th, it's in Orlando, of course. For me, it's the biggest hair show in the world. It's where my passion like exploded. It's where my wife went and decided that she wanted to be a part of the culture. And it was a, it's an amazing experience. So I definitely recommend you guys be there. If you want to register to attend our classes or come through and, and check out our booth, there'll be a link in the description for all that information. Also, I want to share with you guys um, the weekend following the Orlando premiere, I'm pretty much going to be like in like three different places. I'll be in London just for a day. It's kind of like a layover. I'll be in Romania and then I'll be in Russia. Romania I'm super excited about because they've asked me to be an educator and a judge at a barber battle, the biggest barber battle in Eastern Europe. And I'm I'm like I'm blessed to be a part of that like for for them to come to me and out of all the barbers in the world and ask me to be a part of that show like you guys know, man. Y'all been following me for a while. Especially if you've been a subscriber since day one. You know where your boy started. Like, I was just... <laughs> my first haircut tutorial, I was cutting hair in the kitchen. In the dining room. And um, to kind of grow and, and be and be given an opportunity like that, I'm super excited about it. So I want to show you guys the promo video. If you don't want to watch it, um, I'll put the, the where you can skip to right here. You can skip all that. Start the haircut tutorial. But if you want to watch it and kind of take it all in with me, <laughs> I'll go ahead and play it right now. And if you're going to be in Eastern Europe or in Romania, make sure you book your ticket and come see your boy. Let's go ahead and watch the promo. <laughs> I'm super excited to be teaching and judging at Romania's very own The Barber Battle American Style. Alright, so either you skipped it or you watched it. Either way, comment below. Let me know what you thought about the promo. But let's go ahead and get to the to the reason why you clicked on this video. So haircut tutorial, if you've been subscribed for a while, you know that that's my son that I'm cutting in this haircut tutorial. So, you know, I've cut his hair in the past. There was one in the past where we were kind of prepping him for a, a boy Wait, bun, as he bun. likes to call it. But here is the first tutorial where you finally get to see his boy bun. And then my wife came in and gave him cornrows. I thought it came out fresh. Hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys learn a lot. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. And I'll see y'all below in the comments. Let's go. All right, this, this is my son. This is my little man. So here we're just combing the hair, separating it from the, uh, the bun on top. And uh, he just got home from school, so it's a little raggedy. So we're gonna redo his bun. Comb it real good. You gotta apply apply some moisture, some water, make it easier, make the other little hairs that wanna stray out stay together. So now that the boy bun is done, we start cutting. So our base is gonna be a number two. We're gonna bring that all the way up, right into the ridge, and we're combing with we're combing the hair down, making sure it lays down so that we're always cutting against the grain. So here the hair grows a little bit at an angle, and you can see with my clipper, I am cutting it at an angle against the grain. That means cut in the opposite direction the hair is growing, right? All right, so now that the base is done, we'll go ahead and use our outliner blade on our ZRs. You can get the outliner blade for any detachable clipper. They all, they all fit the same blades. And we'll start to put our first guideline. Follow this all the way through. Now that's done, we have our wall cordless magic clips. 
and the blade is all the way open, no guard. Go up about an inch to create your next guideline. And on my wall magic clip, I say this probably every video that I use them. I tell people in the comments all the time, in the chat rooms, in the Instagram live streams. I switch the blade to a taper blade. It does not have the original stagger tooth blade on it. Now here I have my number one guard, equivalent to your one eighth. It's all the way open, and we're pretty much going to start blending into that number two that we that we started our base with, and we'll do that all the way through. And you can see it's about an inch up as well. Once that's done, it'll you close the clipper all the way as as shown here. And right at where you left that last guideline, you start to uh, go up about a half inch or um, and take that line out. You can see the lines almost out. Now we close the clipper all the way up, all, all the way, and we start to notch out that initial guideline that you used, that you made with your outliner blade, as you can see here. And it's not perfect right now like you're gonna go back and and detail this fade but you know as you go up a little bit probably every uh, every quarter inch you're going to um, open the lever a little bit using your corners to be careful using laying the the clipper you know on its backside as opposed to going in directly with the teeth if I'm not cutting with the blade laid flat on the head, I'm usually using the corners of the blade, I should say. Now it's pretty much all the way open and you can see the blends coming together. J hits on the beat. A lot of times when I'm detailing, I'm using a lot of trial and error. So like if, if I come in with the blade halfway open and it's not cutting, I gotta lower it a little bit until it cuts. Now we're doing the same steps that we did on the other side, we're doing on this side. You can see the clip is all the way closed, starting to take out that, that guideline. Once we're done there, we'll take the number one guard off, we'll close the blade. And we'll start to take that initial guideline off out. And we'll open it as needed. Now I'm not gonna use the Andy shaver on him. I don't really like to use the shavers on kids. You never know with them. Um, they have sensitive skin, so I don't take that risk. And if a parent wants me to, I make sure that it's, you know, it's laid out there. Like, you're risking this, man. Like, I'll do it, but there's a risk to it. I don't want to hear nothing if something happens. I'm OCD, so although I probably didn't need it, I didn't see I didn't see um like I didn't see a reason to use my one my one guard open and start like you know like I'm doing right here. So I went straight to the one and a half guard and I checked if it worked. 
I take advantage of my tools. I don't have no problem using every tool out there. I think if you're closed minded and you think, you know, you're whack if you if you use guards and stuff, that's that's dumb to me. Barbers are evolving, man. The blends are getting tighter, the blends are getting blurrier, the lineups are getting sharper. The standard is being raised all the time. And it's because of the evolution of the tools. Now we're bringing it all together. I like to start at an angle like this to start to bring the sides into the back. bring it all the way around and turn the chair and you know angles are, are everything when it comes to blending lighting and angles can hide a demarcation so you want to make sure your pos your body's positioned that you're looking at a haircut in all kinds in all different ways Yeah, so I'm excited. The next video we're dropping is going to be the CT Barber Expo vlog. That's going to be dope. Give you guys some perspective on, on traveling to these shows. And and if, if you're interested in creating your own, your own brand or your own company or coming out here networking or becoming a platform artist or whatever it is, these are the shows that you want to go to, that you want to network at. So, so here I'm using the B. Clark Customs, available at tune45.com. We got a few of his designs there. And it's gonna be dope. We're gonna collaborate with him. We're gonna have some some special edition Tomb 45 clippers that he's gonna to put together. So super excited about that. And guys, if you go to tomb45.com, we talked about the thank you tour in the past. If you go to tomb45.com and then you click on tour, you can click on tour and vote for your city. We're gonna after this campaign is done, we're gonna go to the top five cities. Um, we're gonna do the, the thank you tour. It'll be me, it'll be myself, Matt Gifting Hands, Christian Perez, and 360 Jeezy um, going going to your city. So make sure you go vote. And I'll put I'll put a link in the description box for that as well. So here I usually start in the middle of the hairline to create my, my, my guideline and everything else is just kind of connecting to the middle part. I like to start at the highest point. My son don't really have a receding hairline. He's six years old. So, but if he if he was an adult and he had some receding point, that's where I would start at and I'd keep that as natural as possible and connect it the be as best as I can to the middle. And I feel like the, the lineup is really putting this this haircut together. Like now, now the blend is really popping. So here I'm going with the grain right at the ridge just to get some of those little stray hairs that are popping out. Sometimes that happens with these type of haircuts with undercuts and everything like that. Now the, I wanna I wanna make it clear that the, these custom trimmers do not come with the gold blade. 360 GZ sent me the gold blade. And I had to put them on here, man, because I knew it was going to look dope. I feel like with the gold blades on, the, on this trimmer, I might have the nicest trimmers on the market, man. I'll be feeling myself when I'm cutting with these. <laughs> 
But the the blades that come with these were hitting were hitting like crazy. I put those blades on my old T outliners, and I'll use that in a future haircut tutorial so you guys can see those are hitting. Those blades hit. So the cuts coming together. I think my my little man is looking fresh. So now his mama. Follow her on Instagram, Hair by Justine Cassiano. She's just starting her hairstyling career. Super proud of her. She just got her license and she just got into a salon a few months ago. So she'll start putting his hair in cornrows. <laughs> she is so excited right now. Yeah. It's like super excited. Look, she wants everybody to see her. So now I gotta feel like I'm cutting her hair to make her feel cool like her brother. Yeah. Oh, hell no. You look fresh, boy. Mom. All right, those are my babies. This is my wife. That's my that's my home team. That's my home team right there. So I think I think the haircut came out fresh. You see at the end the braids, the cornrows look dope. And that's it. That's the that's the finished product. Hope you guys liked the tutorial. Hope you guys learned a lot from it. Smash that like button. Hit the subscribe button. See you on the next video. And don't forget to follow my wife, man. She's like, what about me?